All right. <laughs> we are back on the daddy issues. Okay? Yeah. yeah, man. Yo, so there was this guy. He fought off a rabid beaver to uh, protect his kids, man. A rabid beaver, man. I mean, it's expected. That makes sense. You can't dip out on the kids. Just off top. Like, what? What's the? What's the biggest animal you would? I picture you just fighting any animal just to protect the boys. So yeah, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. And plus, I'm not really scared of animals. So it's like I'm not. I know I should be. I know people be like, "You better be careful." Animals don't. So for me to protect my kid against an animal is a no brainer. It's just like, all right, it's a grizzly bear. Well, man, let's I'm see what happens. I'm gonna have to die. Just don't do me like Leonardo. I'm about to say I'm gonna have to be revving in it up. Yeah. It's gonna be. I mean, it's it's what it is. For like the kids, yeah, I'll fight any person, any animal. I'll yeah. jump in front of a car. This is automatic. Like, yeah, I just I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm diving in the ocean. I'm yeah, doing all of I'll that. I'll do whatever if I can. It's just instinctual, really. It's yeah, not even like me thinking about purpose. it. It's just like, like oh, some hero. I, I just you sprung into action. Just do stuff. That shit. Yeah, the kids. it's the kids, man. It's just automatic. So definitely, I see him fighting off the beaver. He probably wasn't thinking it's rabbit. Beaver. Nah, he's just like get off my baby. I like, don't know, yo. That's and the probably, animals. He probably had no thought process. Yeah, none. Nothing. He's just like I'm doing this. Yeah, especially with animals, man. Because it's like none of them scare me for some reason. Like, I respect them. Like, I, I know I'm not going to walk into a cobra and just be like, hey, guy. Like, no, I'm, not, it I'm not an idiot. It depends where I'm at and where. Right. Like, if I'm, if I'm walking and a wolf pull up, I'm, oh, this is it. It's all yeah. it is for me. But, yeah. This is how it. It'd be wolves in my neighborhood. But I mean, like, what, like. Oh, you mean like a straight up. Because people don't realize how big you? animals are. Right. When they are not. They're, animals are huge. Like, you seen that? It's a video viral right now of a. Of a wolf, a dog that was barking, and the wolf ran on him, and the size difference of the wolf yeah. and the dog, and it was a big dog. That wolf looked like a horse. Yeah. It was huge. Wolves are something else, man. I wonder That's why I be looking at dogs with shame, man. Like, look at them now. <laughs> These little dogs standing around talking, man, shut your ass up, man. Look at what you used to be. You came from kings and queens. Jeez. Look at them now, man. The sweater's on. I can't get over that. I mean, man. look at the cats. They came from tigers and lions. Well, panthers. cats are still the same. Still Dogs same. have completely changed. <sighs> completely. I'm like, ah, get out of here. But, uh, yeah, I would easily, like, because first of all, I'm always amazed by animals anyway. Like, And so, like, let's say a bear was chasing one of the boys. I would just run up and just. You know, I don't know what attack what make approach so I would think. I'd just be like, Ugh, you know, just to see what happens. You know what I mean? I would probably get slung around like a rag doll. But, but the animal I would be most, well, well, first of all, the scariest animal to fight would probably be a shark. Oh, if we in the ocean. Because it's, it's, it's so much going on. It's and like the so swimming. Fast. We in the ocean. They fast. I got to worry about my, my kids. We in the ocean. But like if it's on land, I would be most scared to fight a gorilla. They're strong, man. They're strong as hell, though. They're so strong. And they coming at you with the full strength. They're not holding back. It's a wrap, man. And I feel like once they get to a certain amount of anger, they might not back off. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, I'm getting slung around. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> lost the R to protect the kids. You all right there? I'm good. Just hold me up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, kids. I'm proud of y'all. Uh, in the death. But yeah, man, just animal attacks in general, man. I'm I'm ready to fight for these kids. Yeah, man. I'll do anything. I'll fight. Yeah. It's Any crazy. animal. I don't care if it's a bat, a, a praying mantis. Do you ever uh do you ever envision stuff? Like, like when you with the kids? Like, oh absolutely. Anytime we go to the beach, I'd be like, man, what if the boys That's me all in? day. I just imagine it all the time. Like I, we walking up the street, and I'd be like, "If a car comes, I would have to shield this yep. way, throw I'm always this thinking way. like that. I'd probably lose all of this. Mm -hmm. I'd be incapacitated. Yeah. What if somebody came like, in, tried to grab the stroll and run yeah, off? I'm chasing I'm them down. I'm always thinking about that kind of stuff. I'm hopping into the van. Cause I like to know what my plan would be. Yeah. 
I don't want to never be caught off guard when I'm with them. Mm-hmm. I don't even like being caught off guard when I'm by myself. Right. So with them, I'm always on the extra. Like, all right, where are the extra points? Mm-hmm. Where are the you know. And I've been I've been I'll going watch through, everybody. Right. Like, you what, looking what, around? What you, what you doing? What you you eyeballing this? And I've been going through life avoiding so much conflict. Not not purposely avoiding, but yeah. just you know, I'm not around it. Um, I'm always thinking like, man, this stuff is smooth. Like the last time I even thought about seriously putting hands on somebody was the other day. This dude pulled a little knife out on this guy that was just outside singing with a guitar yeah. for money. He had a knife. And I walked up and I was like, yo, this dude got a knife. And so I was I was standing there making sure like, yo, I see you with the knife. You ain't about to stab this dude on my watch. So I'm all in the mix. I'm like all oh, there and like, dude. But the dude with the knife kept ignoring me. But I was like, clearly I'm like, what you doing? Yeah. He's like, why you out here begging for money, man? It's my money. I'm like, over the top. And the dude was just sitting Indian style, like on his guitar, yeah. you know, the surfer looking dude. He's like, man, what's your problem, man? He's like, man, you out here begging this my money. I'm like, man, this dude ain't about to do that. So I walked up to the guy, the victim. I'm like, you all right, man? You good? He's like, man, this guy right here's great. I see him out here. I'm still like oh, looking at the guy. Oh, you trying to make him know. I want the dude yeah. to know like, yo, you ain't about to stab nobody in my Bring it here. And he, he would not acknowledge me. I'm like, I'm standing right here to the dude packed up and got away safely. And then uh, dude was going to the elevator. And then he finally looked at me like, what you want to do, bro? But I could see in his, in his soul he really didn't want it, but he had to say something because – you like, what you want to do? I was like, I see a little knife in your hand, man. He was like, well, you know, I was like, all right. Then I was hot for like two minutes. Oh, yeah, I, nothing even with the knife? He was like, what's this? But in my mind, I was thinking like, all right, I've never fought somebody with a knife before. Yeah. What am I going to do? I'm getting my I'm getting my Steve Rogers on in my head. I'm yeah. like, all right, so I'm going to let him come in and swipe first, grab his wrist, take him down, tear his nose up, and then <laughs> just go from there. I was mapping it out. So dude back down with the knife, you just like Yeah, he just got it in this little punk ass elevator and left. I was like, man. But I could tell because if he really wanted it with me, yeah. he'd be like, well, what you gonna do? And he he never took it to that level until it was just me and him standing there. And I still had enough distance to where I was just like, just in case I got enough yeah. room to breathe. And Sabrina wasn't all on me, like, no, let's just well, she was just quiet in the background, which I prefer. Yeah. I don't like it when women be like, no, it's just not yeah, even. Get out the way, because you're just gonna mess me up. Exactly. I'm gonna trip over, you're gonna get in the way. If I get just, toe up, just yeah. just take me to the hospital. Cuss don't me get out in the way. On. And because yeah. if I get if I get worked over something, it's your fault. Hey, you oh. holding me? Are you holding one of my and I arms? Catch one? I'm over man. We fighting. <laughs> we fighting after that. <laughs> I'm like, you was holding my arm. I was getting jabbed up. So yeah, yeah, but, just uh, move out the way. Cause a lot of people be like, "I want my girl to fight." I don't. No. I don't. For what? No. I don't even want her to fight. Like if another girl was trying to fight her, I'd be yeah, like, I, I wouldn't. Guys, I wouldn't feel right. I know she would. Yeah. But I don't want that. No, I'm like, guys, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I I'll just take the hits from yeah. a, from a woman. I'll be like, well, nah, I ain't gonna take the hits. She gonna get restrained. Yeah. Like if she punches me one time, her arms are hemmed up at that point. I'm not gonna be on some. Well, you know, I don't hit women. Like if nah, you attack I will, me, I will restrain. I'm, I'm stronger. You getting you. subdued yeah. somehow. And if you keep going long enough, I'll, I'll punch a woman. I might have. Is she to. in full attack I, did you mode? You see that video? I'm not gonna The, the lady, out. the huh? huge power lifter lady that was tossing that dude around the no. front. <laughs> Everybody was dying laughing. I was yeah. like, everybody's laughing. Mm-hmm. But if some dude, I mean, she was huge. Right. And I'm like, I see her. I have to fight her. Right. Like, she was, I mean, she was t- <laughs> she was tossing him like a rag doll. Yeah. Like, and he would try to get up. She would just push him back down. Like, she mm-hmm. was huge. And I was like, yo, I can't. I feel like society can't hold me accountable for defending myself nah, against her. You don't she get a free huge. pass because you're a woman and you fully attacking me. <laughs> I'm not going to sit there and be a gentleman. I'm like, I'm going to defend myself. And like, you know. And I don't care what society thinks. Like, if you look at me, though, no, that's not it. Look, y'all, I'm supposed to sit there and take the punches? Yeah. Nah, not me. I believe everybody keeps their hands to themselves. Exactly. Man. Like, stop. That's what it you is. You just fire off on people, and there's no ramifications for you that. You want gender equality? That, that y'all makes keep no your hands sense. to yourselves as well. Just stop. Like, stop. What's the motion? That don't mean you haul off and hit people. Right. Exactly. Take, it, punch the wall. Else. Yeah. Take it out that's on the wall. That's what we do. We take walks. Yeah. We punch walls. We go to the gym. Mm-hmm. Do what you got to do. The gym is great stress relief. Oh, yeah. You go to the gym, <laughs> and you get tired, <laughs> you be sweating. Like, man. That's it. But, yeah, yeah, so that easy work. Yeah, easy. Animal. Defend your kids. 
Indiana dad goes viral after he offers free ass whoopings to parents. <laughs> but Dwayne Stamper sounds like he gives out ass whoopings. Yeah. Stamper. His post went viral and landed him in the middle of a debate on corporal punishment. Uh, Stamper's post reads, "Parents, you <laughs> your kids need a whooping. Summer can't end fast enough. Stop by. I'm set up." No kids over 13, because they may whoop me. Mm. <laughs> Stamper says that he was inspired by a five-year-old in the supermarket who needed an ass whooping. Mm. Research shows spanking is not necessary when effective. Where it's not necessary when effective? It's it's not a, it's not necessary or effective when raising a kid. Oh. Uh, it's like, what do you... I think it depends on the kid. What research? Yeah. What, I think it depends on the kid. What are you talking about? Some Whoopers kids don't very effective it. Some do. They were very effective. It was effective for me. All the stuff I didn't do was because of fear. I never cared about being grounded. Was easy work. Oh man, grounded? Who cares? Cakewalk. Like, oh, I can't watch TV for a little while. Just right. Yeah. I can't. You know. I mean, I hated it. Right. But it wasn't. I didn't want no whooping. The hands put on. No. I passed, man. The, it was super effective. Y'all yeah. gonna get a whooping? I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all going to get a discussion? All right. I'll yeah, hear him out. I'll take that. He's yeah. like, let me set this on fire right here. You going to get yeah. a stern talking to? Oh, that was right. great. <laughs> yeah, I know what I did. First of all, here's a, with the talking to, I know what I did wrong. Mm-hmm. I knew that before when you caught me, I knew I was wrong. Right. So you just yelling. I'm, eh. Discussions. I but, think, But I think, you know, whoopers just depends on the kids. Some kids are more effective when you put their hands, a quick pop on the butt. Snaps them right out of it. Right. When well, you stop, don't do that. You shouldn't do that. Make me. You're not my mom. What do you do then? You have a discussion. Well, I'm not your mom, but you know it's just wrong of you. Screw you. And then it's like, yeah. all right, that's nah, what we take. They worked for me, yeah. and I didn't even get it. That's the thing. They worked so well. I didn't get a lot. Of me neither. I didn't get a lot of work because I, didn't get a lot I remember for the last reason. one. Yeah. Yep. So I don't know what research I respected, is showing. <laughs> I respected the hands. If I was just going to get discussions over and over, like teachers, they had to discuss with me all the time. Oh, here we go. All right, let's hear the discussion. Yeah, I don't, I don't, it, yeah. it, it does, I do think it's kid-based because, like, my brother, he, he was different to punish because he didn't care about stuff. Yeah. So, you know, like, like yeah, no, uh, like no TV for a week would bother me because I liked going outside. Yeah. So that was, a, I hated that because I wanted to go. But Keith, yeah, he was a nerd. He didn't right. care. You know, my dad telling me, you know, no outside for a week. Like, I'll just read another book. Yeah. And he just, he didn't care. Like, it wasn't a big right. deal for him. Uh, but for me, I I hated it. Mm-hmm. But the whoopings was by far, was by the far thing. the worst. I just like, uh, talking, I mean, I yeah. want to know who. Talking is just boring. Research shows. Yeah. With black parents? Did they do this I research? I want to know who they researched. That's what I'm saying. Who did the research? Right. Numerous studies? What does that even mean? Shows. I want specifics. Yeah, it's why. Numerous yeah, studies? On what? On who or on yeah, what? Yeah, on what? Where were y'all at? Who's the background? No. You know I believe saying? they affect. I do believe, especially black parents, they take it too far. Oh, I've I definitely, people, yeah. Kids standing up, pow, sit down. You could have just told him to sit down. Right. That wasn't necessary mm-hmm. for the slap across the back of the head. That right. was ridiculous. Yeah. Like, that was, come on. Like, but. I do think they're effective. Don't be beating your kids, though. Right. Some people are just... And I see a lot of parents just out here stressed out hitting their kids because you stressed and mm-hmm. you can't handle... Right. You know, because it's two at one time and now you losing it. Well, <laughs> you got to hold together. Right. Like, they didn't ask to be here. Pull you, yourself together, Yeah, man. hold it together. But it's your fault they here. You the one didn't want to strap up. Take it out on them. You mad at them. Now you want to take out the strap on them. Right. Like, come on, man. I and I feel like the effectiveness started early. You don't have to do it later because they remember... Yeah, and then yeah. when it becomes a thing where you just getting hit for every little thing, there's no effect anymore. There's no you effect. You just yeah. like my parents just hit me. Yeah. Like there's no I get hit every day. B. Yeah, there's no it's nothing. It has to be a big thing. Like oh, I'm gonna get a whooping for this one. Right. Like it has to be. There has to be levels mm-hmm. to the whooping. I yeah. knew there were certain things. I'm like, we might get in trouble, but I think we'll survive. But on certain things, I'm just like, I'm, just, I'm not about to take this hell. Right. I, I would get know destroyed. I'm getting, yeah, I know that, I'm getting that kept this. us out of so much. But I'd be yeah. like, damn, my mom will. Kill me, literally. That kept me out of yeah. so much. It's definitely effective. I remember, man, my, my mom had a friend. Her name was Crystal. I'll never forget Crystal. She had sons. Her son, Christopher, talked to her so disrespectfully. 
like cussing her out, this, that, and the third. And I'll never forget, we gave Crystal and her son a ride somewhere. So me and me and her son in the back, my mom and her friend in the front. He just giving it to her, and like you know, I kept looking in the. Re- I'm like looking like, yeah. yo, this, uh, what's, what's this, about this happen? actually happens out there. This, this, you could talk to your mom like this, and every time I would look in the rearview mirror, my mom was looking at me through the mirror. I see her <laughs> eyes looking at me like, and I'm just like <laughs> taking it in. But my mom let them out. She turned around. If you ever talk to me like that, I will kill you. Do you understand me? I was like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That dude ended up cussing his mom out to the bitter. I remember she, she ended up passing away. He ended up dying in a roulette game. Mm. I think he got murdered, but yeah. I was like, man, talking to his mom reckless. But that was a lesson. I was like, I already knew not to try my mom like that, but that that was just like, she was like, if you ever join a gang, I will kill you as well. And I was like, I believe it. Yeah, my dad. And my dad was so much bigger than us, too, like yeah. size-wise. Mm-hmm. He was just so big, and we were so small. Yeah, and I was just like, I'm good. Yeah, even when we got to the, like the same height, size wise. Yeah, he was just so much bigger than us. And I was just like, <laughs> Nah, I'm good. And it, his background was different than ours. So I'm yeah, like, nah. You want no parts of it. So it, like when we started getting older, it wasn't even about whoopings no more. I was like, I just don't want to fight him. Yeah, like so like it's gonna be work. A, yeah, so we get a bad report card, and my mom would see it. She'd be like, okay. He'll see it when he get home and put on his dresser. We just be like, <laughs> oh, I hated it. I never knew. The stomach hurt. Uh, the he, he would, I realized, I just realized this yesterday. I was talking to my brother. I was like, I just realized all the psychological warfare mm-hmm. they was doing, like, as far as, like, you know, setting up stuff and letting it linger. Yeah. Like, call in the morning. He'd be like, when I get home, it's going to be me and you. I got to think about that. All, all day. day. The all day think about? All day. It's going to be me and you. And I was like, oh. Yo, when I failed seventh grade, I thought my mom was going to kill me, man. Like, I knew. She was going to the parent-teacher conference. I was like, man, maybe it's not going to be as bad as I think. Because I already knew I was <laughs> screwing up. Nintendo ruined my life. Seventh grade, I was doing no homework. None. I was doing no homework. Like, homework, pss, Super Mario Brothers player. And so. Part three? Nah, this was uh, what was cracking in two maybe. Uh, the the two. raccoon tails. Oh. Not that one. It That's was, my best one. That's man. my favorite one. And she went. She came home. She was like, she was hot. Like the look. She came in ready. I remember I was in the kitchen. She busted in there. You're failing. You're not gonna pass. And she just left the house for hours. I don't know where she was. Oh, she probably was going to murder you then. She, she left me walk. home alone for hours. I was in that kitchen sitting at the table, no food on. I was just sitting there like <laughs> <laughs> for hours, man. I was like, oh, I got nothing. You start writing your will. I got nothing. I need my Mario game. <laughs> what was your best friend's name, Leon? I didn't Leon. Even think she was. Gonna, I didn't even know if I was going to see her again. I thought <laughs> she was going to leave me in the apartment to fend for myself. I get evicted homeless on the streets in seventh grade. <laughs> I didn't know what the plan was. I'm like, I don't know where she went. I don't know if she went to a new family. I don't know what it is it's at this hilarious. point. Man, the, woo, she was hot. But she ain't, she ain't put a hand on me, though, but she didn't need to at that yeah. point. I was just like. That's what I'm saying. It's psychological. like, But it all starts, I think, from the wolfing. Like, yeah. Because even times he didn't hit us, I thought I was going to get And yeah. like, I was just be like, that me and you. I realized, is that a black father thing? What? It's going to be me and you. Because I, I remember I, I've only seen that. Said and I knew what it meant. Like yeah, I saw, it be me and you. I saw a dude talking to his son. His son was cutting up just all day. He kept, but he was older too. Yeah, now, I feel like you don't get to that point till they get older. Where it's like right. these little belts ain't gonna work no more. Yeah, we, you know we what I mean? just gonna square up. So his son kept, and I, he was talking to him on the side. And you see the son kind of, all right, when we get home, it's gonna be me and you. And I saw the son's demeanor. He was just like, damn, like, like this is it. This is how it ends. <laughs> and when he said that, like even I was like. Yeah. <laughs> I started flat that me and you. I was like, I to know, what know that you means. gotta fight your dad. That's a heavy burden. Man. And you don't fight, you just <laughs> But the threat of it, you know what I'm saying? The threat of like oh. a lot of times in your own head was worse than what was going really yeah. happen. And then like oh, the thought of everything. That's why fights are better when they just happen in the moment. Yeah. When you thinking about everything a fight, is that. after school. Uh, yeah, everything is better in the moment. The yeah. smash is better in the moment. In the moment. If you think if you get a text that morning, she's like late in the night. All like day it. you thinking about that smash. It's weird. I don't like it. It's I don't weird. like premeditated nah. sex. Nah. It's just 
Let's just do it when it happens. Everything is better in the moment. When you get home from this trip, I'm like, I'm going to be tired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, oh, I might not be tired. I don't know what I'll be, but yeah. I, you know, don't put that pressure on me. But yeah. man, the fights. The fights, man. Like, I, would, I wouldn't want to fight my dad, man. I didn't want no parts of that, man. I remember one time he hit me. Mid sentence, I didn't even see it coming. Yeah, he, me, and my brother was in the hallway, and then he, he, uh, he was like, you know, I don't fight. Wow, he hit Keith in the chest. Keith yeah. hit the ground, and I was just like frozen. Uh-huh. Like, he's like, you, you, an open hand, like hit me in the side of my head. Yeah. I hit the ground. Like all he was like, <laughs> <laughs> like the buildings was exploding in the yeah, background man. and everything. And he was like, get up. We both got up. And I was trying to focus. Like, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> and then he, like, blamed us. He was like, see yeah. what y'all made me do? Because yeah. he probably caught himself. Oh, yeah. He's like, I could have busted his whole eardrum. Well, but y'all don't moment. listen. Y'all, I could have caved your little chest in. Y'all don't be listening, man. Y'all mm-hmm. don't be. And I was just like. And I, I think that was the last time I ever got. Yeah. That one, I was like, man, I don't, I don't want. I feel yeah. terrible. I always feel terrible putting hands I was in high board. school at that time. I was bigger. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm still skinny, but I was like 14. That was the last time I ever got in physical trouble. Yeah. Ever. Because I was like, I'm good, bro. Right. Because like, I know from here on out, ain't going to be no more belts. Yeah, it's going to so be I'm not trying to fight you, bro. Square like, up. Yeah. But Keith, he was hard-headed. They squared up. Well, they, I mean, Keith was just taking it. <laughs> like, but it wasn't even a square up. <laughs> yeah. It was just like. I understood in my dad part, and he has since apologized to my brother. Like, mm-hmm. I man, took it too far. Yeah. My brother just was so hard-headed. Like, yeah. just, what do I do? I can't ground you. I can't. So, it's just like, let's just Square. go to the garage then, bro. Square out, Let's man. go, because you ain't, you ain't, you don't listen, man. And I think that's fine, man. The fight, you get to a certain point where your kids just ain't listening to nothing you tell them. I think it's fine to square up. Square up. Let's square let's up. Let's go in the man. garage. Let's Come solve on. it this way. It's not, it's not. If you take an L to your son. That's the risk. Be ready for the ramification. That's the risk. <laughs> if you take that smooth <laughs> loss, you can't say nothing from nothing. that on. So you got to be ready, man. You better be, as a dad, you better be willing to fight to the death yeah, to get the win. Because you can't, you can't lose. You can't lose, man. You, you got to be lose. like Brad Pitt and Troy, just undefeated. <laughs> you can't. If you, you take it out to. of your son, I don't care if no your son chores. fights professionally and you ain't fought in 40 <laughs> years, you better win this fight. <laughs> you got to man that's it oh that's a wrap man as big as serene is i don't see myself losing to him in the fight i don't see you losing but like he's first big. of all dads have the advantage of these the reason why dads rarely lose a fight to their kids is because we have and i get it now i didn't understand why i was never going to be able to whoop my dad yeah but i get it now because we have the the audacity of you in us right like they do anything like as much as I've done for you, you right. have the audacity. <laughs> we have that kind of that's a different rage. The right. audacity rage is different. Like, right. How dare you? How dare you? Out of what I've done and right. everything, you have to. I'm, a, I'm gonna knock you. I'm gonna right. kill you. I'm right. going to kill I'm you. I'm gonna knock you back in time to when you didn't exist. I remember when what? after Cotty gave birth to Keelan, the first one, she was like, "I get it." She's like, "I get it. if he ever talks, I'm gonna kill him." Yeah. She's like, "All I just went through, All I'm gonna kill him." Did. How dare you? Yeah, like, and that's what we have that they don't have. They just have attitude. Yeah. But we have a different. Like, are you serious? How dare you? That's a different rage. That's, I couldn't believe you doing this. <laughs> like, that, and I now I know I would never been able to whoop him because he'd be like, oh, you, "You just hit me, <laughs> me." After he would he would have murdered, murdered me. He like, would have <laughs> murdered me. <laughs> and I'm like, but I still didn't clean my room. You're you know, right. Just die. You pass out. It's crazy, man. So yeah, man. Put the hands on these kids, man. <laughs> Depending on the kid, though. Some kids. Yeah, really, I don't believe that's the, I'm disappointed in you. Really works for a lot of kids. For some, I'm disappointed in you. They be like, mm, yeah, for some, yeah. especially if they are trying to please you, right? And you just like, I don't even know. You know what? Mm. I don't want to look at you. you some leave. kids, some kids too, ain't even bad. Like you never really have to. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't take that bad. It there. Yeah, that some kids just truly just be chilling. They're like, you know what? All right. What else we got over there? Questions, questions from, um, yeah, yeah, just questions. Uh, oh, these are from the producers. Oh, our lovely producers. What are your favorite movies about fatherhood, and why? And what do movies and television get wrong about fatherhood? Mm. Good question, producers. Fatherhood movies, man. Good question. Oh, uh, one one fatherhood movie that really touched my soul was A Better Life. 
about this Mexican immigrant. He was here illegally, but he had a son here, and uh, he was just working, doing landscaping or whatever. And uh, his son, you know, was at that teenage age, we getting into trouble, you know, he hanging out with the wrong crowd. He gets in trouble, so the dad's trying to get him out of the trouble, but he ends up getting, you know, arrested, so, oh, you know, so he, he had to go back. deported. And so that whole dynamic, and when he was sitting there talking to him right before he got deported, man, I folded. Yeah. It was Folgers crystals, though. I was <laughs> like, man. But it was just touching. Like, like what, when I watch movies now and the father dynamic is in there, I'll be super into it. Like, yeah. even that movie Blow with Johnny Depp. You ever see that? Yeah. The relationship he had with his dad, Ray Liotta, I thought that was, that was like, my favorite part of the movie. Yeah. Like, you know, him and his moms was, was whatever – but like that that dynamic, I was like almost full uh, up. I don't know about dad movies, but dad moments. I mean, I do love Daddy Daycare. I just love I saw, the movie. I saw that one time. I love that movie. Um, I just like how he was just hanging out with his kids and yeah. the other kids all day. Um, Fences was one that just Fences like we talked dope. about that. Like yeah. how just I was like, wow, how much fatherhood has changed. Right. That's what I got from that movie. Just mm-hmm. how much fatherhood has changed. But father moments. They be getting me like anything, with like you said with fathers. Uh, it don't even have to be a son. It could be dad. Like at the end of Armageddon, oh, when yeah. she was talking to Bruce Willis mm-hmm. on the big screen. Like, I, love, I was like, yeah, that, that was I almost. Fold, that was the first time I almost folded the movie. <laughs> you was cross out. I but. didn't because we were with girls. Yeah, but the whole theater. I think me and my dad were only ones in the theaters that didn't cry. Uh, but I just couldn't. <laughs> Because the two girls was with me. They was looking My brother, at me. everybody was good. The girls was crying. They looked at me. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had a thing going around my mouth. I was not crying. But it was just the father. Because I immediately put myself in there. Yeah. And I was like, my dad is in there. I was yeah. just like, oh, I he can't took it there. Something. Cause it already started. The emotion started pumping when he pulled the switcheroo on Ben yeah. Affleck. If Ben Affleck was in there making it tough, exactly. Like, oh, oh. And then you trying to recover from that. Ben and was then already he on like, the big I love you. And then he he all calm. He's like, I ain't gonna make it home. And yeah. she was, I was like, No, you gotta make it home, Bruce. You gotta make it home. <laughs> I was grabbing the end of the, the seat. <laughs> yeah, man, that was a tough one. Pursuit of happiness is mad tough. Yeah. He cheated, man. In real life, his kid was a baby, so I had no clue what was going on. Right. But in the movie, you put a six-year-old in there, oh, you feel man. it. I was like, come on, man. They sleeping in the bathroom in the park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see. that was a tough one, man. It's like, huh. Oh. Yeah, dad moments, man, be having me. They just they just affect me because I had a dad. So yeah. just, and now that I have sons, I'll be... Let me tell you a powerful scene, man, the father and son, the Patriot with Mel Gibson. He already, one of his sons already got killed early in the movie. And then his oldest son, played by Heath Ledger, like he really wanted to Yeah, I never saw that. I know the big movie. When Heath Ledger died, I was like, I was (laughs) cross-eyed. I was just like, "Mm, don't pull it together. Because when Mel Gibson saw him die, he really cried hard. It wasn't no like, one tear look off into the distance. He was like, he was like hyperventilating, and like I was like, I felt every piece of that <laughs> yeah. moment. I was like, man, dog, whoo, yeah. Um, what's another father son joint? I'm trying to think of what movies. Like I said, the Will Smith one. I think we talked about this before. When his daughter died, and then he gets to oh, yeah. visits. Uh, oh. I did fold on that one, man, dog. I did fold on that one. Father. What other father son movies? You know what didn't I had no effect. I was just happy for him. Feel the dreams. I was no, just I happy. Never saw that movie. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was just happy it. that he like got to hang with his pops. Yeah. That was it. It wasn't like a I never I was saw like, that. Good movie. for you, man. Right. Good for you. I'm happy for you. And then you know a movie, even though it's it's my favorite movie of all time, and even though it's not supposed to be taken seriously, but five heartbeats. Oh. Eddie Kane and his dad. <laughs> I just want you to yeah. be a better man. And it was another like fences moment. His dad didn't know how right. to, 
you know, to, to say that I love you or just, right. just, I want you to do better. Yeah. So he walks up and you tell him he ain't shit. Like yeah. that's that's how you that's do how it? you do it. You ain't shit. You ain't shit because I ain't shit. Mm-hmm. I and like that's you. all he knew. That's all he knew. Because in the next scene, he showed up to his gigs. Yeah. He was an emotionalist, <laughs> but he went. He was like, he was there. I'm I'm here in support. Right. I want you to do well, but I can't show it. Like, yeah. I can't. That's crazy to think that was his method. That was he why was, you be doing this to that boy. I just want him to be a better man. So you me. berate him. The like wife's that? face. She's been like, and, and not if people don't notice the wife's what? face. But it was a dude in the background reading a newspaper, and he was just like, <laughs> he just, he, had that's your method? Like, he was just like, what are you doing, bro? That's your method, man. But when I saw him went to the gig, I was like, he does care. He yeah. just, he's he was just trash on the emotion. He yeah. just didn't know how to do it. He's like, How, what'd you think of my performance? It wasn't shit. Yeah, probably. They probably <laughs> cut that out. They were like, we can't keep having <laughs> Thanks, so Dan. Shit the whole time. Uh, don't thank me. <laughs> I'm just here because your mother brought me. He's like, come on, man. This is what we doing yeah. out here. Antoine Fisher. Oh, yeah. The lack of the father. And right. Denzel being the father figure. Mm-hmm. That, that stuff. I was like, man. That movie folded me up, man. I think it folded my dad up. Because my dad went up. to the Navy. Mm-hmm. He like... He he resonated with the movie. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think he pulled him up. That movie made me find my biological father. That one movie. I'm yeah. Like, I folded. Because I wasn't expecting. I wasn't crying in movies then. That movie folded me right it on It folded up. me up, but I felt it. And then I fell in love with Joy Bryant. I thought she was so dope. Where is she, man? She was on, she was on what you call it? I see uh, her in a minute. Seven seasons of that show. I watched the whole thing, too. Uh, the family is the Bravermans. I can't remember what what the show the is who? called. The family name is called oh. the Bravermans, but I can't. I watched every season. I feel like I ain't seen her. Man, she was on no. that show though, and she was on something else. She be working. Okay, all right, that's what's up. Because I forgot about her. I loved her in that movie though, because I was like, she did she go on with him? Yeah. She driving, she searching in the the, the <laughs> yellow pages with him. Yeah, she was so dope to me. She like, was, she was down, down. <laughs> and then she followed that up, and she was down for fifty in a. Get rich. Oh yeah, she was nursing him. I was like, she's just, yeah. god damn it, she's just down. And I was just in love with her because she was just holding. She hold two different down. She was like, I down. only choose roles on the down ass chick. Like, she was so dope. I was yeah. like, yes. <laughs> she could be trash in real life, but right? In these movies, she be holding it down. The hold down, man. Yeah, that father son dynamic. Damn, oh, man. I love the father. My favorite father in film is Furious Styles from Boys. Oh Man. well, yeah. Absolutely. I love, he's probably my favorite father. He was amazing. Him and Mufasa are battling for the number one fathers yeah. in the game in terms of movies. But Furious and Boys in the Furious Hood amazing. is one of my favorite movies. What made Furious so time. dope is he shouldn't have been that dope. He had yeah. his kid at 17. Right. And he was talking like he's this 60 year old exactly. guy. That, he was 30 something years old. He laid down the rules. He wasn't having it. He, he was, was 34 to, years old talking to Trey like that. He mixed the tender moments with the rules and, like, you know, yeah. teaching them stuff about life and all that. Very involved. I was like, yo, this dude here. He was a dope dad and he shouldn't have been. Yeah. He was flying by the seat of his pants. He, he didn't was know what so he was doing. Dope, man. He didn't. He did. He's seventeen. You don't. You don't know how to raise no kid, right? And he comes to live with him. He was what ten, eleven. Mm-hmm. So that makes furious. All 27, 20, 28. What are you doing? Chilling. He's he like, you gonna know. rake these leaves? You gonna? Yeah. He don't know what he's doing. Yep. I I, I give him a because my dad had me at eighteen. Yeah. So I'm like, you don't. He did I give him a pass job. on a lot of stuff. Looking back, right? I'm like, man, you had no clue. You was young. What you was doing? Right. None. You right. just. I'm here though. Yeah, I'm here. What you gonna <laughs> I'm do? I'm trying man. my best. You step up and do the best you can. But yeah, man, Furious Styles. That's my answer. Who, who, who's my favorite father? Him, because I, I really love. Well, him. he was my favorite. Uh, but I have a few favorite TV dads. Oh, TV dads. That's something else. Um, you know, obviously everybody loves Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil was fantastic. Um, I thought I didn't like Carl Winslow because I felt like he used to let Eddie talk to him too crazy. Yeah. Eddie should have gotten knocked out a few times. Right. Even though he was twice Carl's. <laughs> right. <laughs> Carl used to just, he would do that, you know, TV parenting. Yeah. You know, I didn't believe it. Parent. I, didn't, I was I'm like, like no. I'm not believing this reaction. I was right like, here. this ain't real. And y'all yeah. in Chicago. I'm right. Like, no. I'm, no. Yeah. You know who's a, a slept on dad? Uh, Alan Matthews from uh, Boy Meets World. 
Oh, uh, I don't even remember the dad. On they that sleep show. on him, and he was super dope. Oh yeah, I remember him now. He was a dope dad, like because he yeah. took in Sean, like yeah. Corey's friend. He would try to because he, you know, his father was always in and out. He was trying right. to raise him, and they would have moments where you could see Alan was raising boys. That's yeah. what connected with me, like uh, when when Corey got and Topanga got married. Yeah. And they bought this crappy apartment. They was eating, splitting a tuna fish sandwich. The sink didn't work. Like, it was just yeah. trash. And he went home, like, bail me out. Uh-huh. And the dad was like, no, you're a man. You got married. This is what, and you could tell it was eating him up. But yeah. he was like, this is what you have to do. Like, right. as, it was a it, it was a serious moment in the show. Yeah. Like, and they always had serious Corey moments. ended up in, fixing the sink, you yeah. know, and they was like, this is, you know, but it, when Corey left, he was like, damn, you know, like he wanted to bail him out. But yeah. he at the same time, he was like, I'm raising a man. Right. This is your wife now. You're not my responsibility anymore. You got it. And I was like, yo, this mm-hmm. dude. And I just why I just remember all the seasons he was watching. He was a dope dad. Like yeah. you go back and watch the shows. He was a super dope dad. I quit watching Boy Meets World because Corey was always whining about. He was shit. whining. But he was so whiny. I was like, I'm out of here. I can't deal with it. What is it? What it? What do TV and movies get wrong about fatherhood? The dads are always the screw ups. I don't like that. I don't like how dads are always the screw ups. There is it definitely more times than not we the screw ups. See, but like in the movie, like dads are just useless in movies and TV. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, and it's just like, yeah, well, they about? have us too soft. Yeah, and then it's like but we we matter, and then yeah. the TV shows, the dads just be nothing. Right. Was super like, silly. Like, like yeah. what's his name, man? It's mad silly. Uh, Dumphy or Modern Family. Oh yeah, I don't he's, watch it like that. But he's so clueless. Yeah. Like, how is he even <laughs> raising these kids? <laughs> he's funny, but it's just like as a dad, and like, how can you take him seriously? Yeah. Um. But at the same time, on the same show, I like uh, Ed O'Neill's character on that show as yeah. a dad. You know what I'm saying? Raising a daughter and a gay son. It's like he seems real dope down to earth, but no nonsense at the same time. Oh, the Mexican kid's gay? No, no, his son. No, oh, his yeah, son. the older one, the older yeah. one, the older one. That's yeah, right. so uh, I think it's dope how he is in that. And it's, a, it's a nice contrast from Al Bundy. Like if you watch Blackish, Anthony Anderson is the screw up dad. Yeah. He's a selfish dad. He's always messing he always up. He don't know up, what man. he don't know what's going on. Screwing up. He be messing up. And I'm like, that's what they always yeah. do to like most of the time. They, right. That is more show what they show. And and they, even in the Cosby show, Claire was more hard nosed. Oh, than absolutely. Cliff. Claire was not having it. No. Man. That's easily my favorite T V mom, by the way. But like yeah. she was not having it. And Cliff was not having it either, but he was silly with it at the same time. Um I'm trying to think of another family show with some dads. Good times. In there. Good times. James yeah. was intense, but James good. Was, yeah, James was super intense. Um, they was poor, though. He was stressed. When you literally look at good times, James was stressed the he hell was stressed out, out, man. That's why his hair was received. He man. was stressed out. And they just killed him off. Three like, kids. Yeah. Well, you know how they killed him off. Yeah. Yeah. Tough. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, let's see. Are there any hobbies or interests? That you discourage your kids from taking up. For example, if they wanted to dance, cheerlead, or knit, would you encourage it? I encourage any interest, man. Like uh, as long as it, you know, as long as it ain't like, yeah, I'm interested in drug dealing. Like, <laughs> but if they like, you know, if it's a, I want them to be passionate about something. Yeah. So I would, I would have questions. Like if they were trying to chill, like I want to chill. I'd be like, why? Why? What is? I wouldn't like off top. Be like, what? What you want to do that right. for? Because then they'd be like, oh, I don't. Yeah. But I'd be like, why? What, what makes you? What brought that on? Right. That's usually my question with everything. Even when I talk to my little brother, what, what brought that on? Yeah. I want to see like where, where your head is at. What right. do you want to do? Because the answers could be all over the place. I like dancing. I just want to hold the girls by their butts. Right. I just, you know, I don't know what. You never know. What the answer is? So I would just ask, and like, what? What do you want to do that for? Like, what is your? But no, I wouldn't just discourage it. Like I, my my thing is like whatever you do, you be a beast at it. Yeah, you know? I want them to excel. Don't be a, like even if you want to be a dancer. Like there's a lot of dope dancers. Oh, absolutely. I feel like when people too, when they think about boys, and they be like, my boy wants to dance. That don't necessarily mean ballet. Like right. that don't, they, like I feel like dudes always go there. Yeah. Like if your boy says he want to dance, he could be the dopest hip hop dancer of all time. He could right. be Michael Jackson, the second. Com- it doesn't have to be right. Like fem. They always associate it 
Like, What's wrong with ballet? Soft. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of football players do ballet. Ballet is legit. A lot of football players do ballet, and they be like, right. "What? What is this?" Like they automatically associate it with just like, it's like, why? Well, why does it have to be? I like sports is the only be, thing, right? Oh, you can only do sports. Like you, if you game. ain't sports, you either gay or a nerd. Yeah. Like, it's like no, there's a wide there's spectrum a wide of things. Spectrum. It doesn't have to just be sport. And a lot of sport athletes be gay and right. nerds. Even like, if they was gay, like if my sons were gay, my my only hang up is I would just want them to be the dude in the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> That's my only issue. Like, man, don't be over here no pushover yeah. with these dudes. That'd I be feel my like biggest hang up. Issue. Like, just don't be out here getting punked. Because D.L. Hughley had just said that. He had just said he wanted um, – because Magic Johnson was talking about his son. Uh, and DL was like, yeah, uh, my son could be as gay as he want to be as long as he's still a man. Yeah. And I was like, I feel like, I honestly feel like that's how like most dudes yeah, feel. Yeah, just, just. Like, just, just be a man. I don't right. care what you do. I don't care. Right. Just be a man, though. Mm-hmm. Don't be <laughs> just doing the most hella extra. Right. Cause like, when I talk to people, because I be asking people, like, why? Like, like if somebody's homophobic. I'm like, why? What did they do to you? Like, exactly. Why does that, why What's does that the bother point? you? And their answer, nine times out of ten, is like, okay, well, it's not their lifestyle. It's the extra. Oh. And like, that I understand. Like, mm-hmm. I don't watch reality TV because I hate extra. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah, I like that. I don't want to see that from a woman. Definitely want to see it from a dude. Right. So the extra, the theatrics, the hell of doing yeah. much, that does. That is annoying. Right. But it doesn't make me hate you. You're just annoying. Right. You're As very annoying. So, like, if I had a gay son... I want him to still be like we watching the game, and I'm like, man, Steph killing. He like, yeah, that yeah. nigga fine too. I'm like, oh, okay, oh, well, I, you know, he's All not right. my flavor, but I feel you. Yeah, you know I, but I wouldn't yeah. like, yeah, that's you could be gay, but if he started being hella extra, like, yeah. God, I'd be like, man, stop. <laughs> Like that would that's annoying. I'd be like, stop, bro. You can know my nerves, man. Yeah, just, turn, stop. just turn it down. Just, stop. A, a just taste. be regular. Just chill a, out, bro. A lot of people with the gay sons, they be like, I hate it when they they go the religious route. What? Yeah. With homophobia, it's it's not it's in the Bible. They every say. piano. But meanwhile, player, you out here yeah. fornicating yeah. on the regular and doing all kinds. You doing picking and choosing what you want to be passionate about in the Bible. Now nah, this is the yeah, this, is, here, this is the one that breaks you. Yeah, like, you, you oh, sitting oh, every so day. Now, you know, religion matters. Dude, How many I, times I, have I you smashed on her? Period. That's a, a big sin in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Huge sin. They pick and choose. I'll be like, man, it's, I'm like sitting down, so it's not natural. Hey, you know what? Neither is the food we eat. So what? <laughs> a lot of stuff in there. I don't care. Yeah, but thinning uh, out the herd. I feel you on the extra though, because it'd be it'd be a bit much. The extra, and I but it's people. I don't like extra people. Yeah. So it's not it's not just a gay specific thing. I don't like when people are extra. Just you come in the a room most. hella loud and stuff. I'd be like, like why are you yelling? Why, why are you, doing are you this? look at me? Yeah. Oh, like, look at me! Just as soon as you come uh, in, I'm, like, ah, I don't I'm not looking at like you. It. I put a blindfold on when you come in with the look <laughs> at me energy. Look at me! I'll be like, yeah. So like, like if I had a gay son like EJ, I probably would be like, because oh, <laughs> that just that stuff bothers me. It's just yeah. so much. Like, but I, I've only really seen EJ in like uh, like picture form. Is he like out there when he talks to extra? Ah. So extra. Yeah. Big. You know, just. Huge purse, and he's so big. He's yeah, like six nine, three hundred pounds. Man, with a purse, he don't even carry poodles. We he's gonna like look at you anyway. Put pit bull in his, he's just carrying it like he's huge. We gonna look he's at you huge. anyway, yeah. just from pure, he's you know, huge. bigness. Yeah. Then like you throw I, that on the mix. You if I had a gay peacock? son, it'd be like Karamo. I'm like, yeah, just chill out. Like yeah. I remember when he when he said he was gay when everybody was watching Real World. We was like, this dude is gay. Like because yeah. he was just chilling. Like, I don't he didn't know make who that no, is. He was on the Real World, black dude. Dressed like everybody dressed in two thousand, yeah. but and then one day he was just kissing a dude, and we was like, "Oh, he, he yeah, yeah, never knew." And yeah. you just kept moving. Now he's like, I guess, kind of famous, like doing big for the gay community okay. or whatever. But he's just chilling, like yeah. just. But the extras, I'll be like, people that be super homophobic, man. I'll just be. It's just weird to me. Like, why it's are you weird. this passionate so weird. about? I feel I'm like what like, happened to you. I feel like or you do you, you having something? an eternal yeah, struggle weird. with it. Somewhere. That's what I always go to. Like, why are you this passionate? And I, I'm fine if you think it's gross. That's fine. That's fine to be like, I'm not feeling it. But when but, you like super yeah, it's, like, it's I'm weird. like. There's what? more to it than just exactly. you thinking. That's weird. Yeah. It gets Definitely. to the point of like weirdness on that tip. Like I can see if some dudes could you like, like oh, that's fine. Yeah. Because I'm like that. Like, with, I don't want to see two dudes making out. I don't want to see a couple making out. Really. Exactly. I was about to say, I'm like that with regular like, people. Right, with with straight it. people. I'm going to look away. I'm going to be like, all right, guys. Yeah. Now, if they smashing, I might watch. 
Just because I'm not watching Pervy <laughs> McGee. I'm like, oh, y'all smashing right here? Right. I'd be like, oh, oh, this is this yeah. happening? <laughs> Just, <laughs> well, y'all getting it in? Okay, this is crazy. But, like, <laughs> uh, all of that, nah, man. What yeah, else? I don't get it. I don't get why. What else we got on here? Uh, we'll do Let's one see. more question and wrap this joint up. Do you regulate your kids' internet use? And what can parents do to keep their kids from going to inappropriate places online? Uh, I, I don't do really regular. monitor their internet use. I do. Because I'm like, because uh, I'd be doing it like, I did initially, like, you know, I'd be like, All right, what y'all looking at? Like, usually YouTube videos or like, you know what I'm saying? Sincere's on the internet more than Serene, but like, uh, so he's like, mainly on YouTube. Yeah. But like, I haven't. I haven't asked them lately, like, yo, yo, be dabbling in that, uh, that the porn. The hub. Yeah, that porn, you know what I'm saying? Because I know, I know, I, I I first got exposed to porn in, like, first grade because it came in on our TV from the motel across the street. We lived across the street from a hotel. So porn would just come in on channel three. Just straight, we flick it through the channel, and then you go back to channel yeah. four. So it was crazy. So I got exposed to it early, like, yo. Anytime we home alone, you can just turn channel yeah. three, take it in. So that could have really tore me up sexually, but it didn't. And then, uh, but then I got to the porn phase where, like, you know, going in the porno curtain and then in the adult section, and I would stay up late for Cinemax or like, you know, <laughs> some nudity on Showtime, yeah. get ready to turn the channel real quick. So I definitely had my moments of like, yo, it's, it's out there. But I mean, this is before the internet. Yeah. Not the internet. They, at any moment, you could just be like, Too much. yeah, get the full whatever you're looking for. Porn will, though. I mean, I think you should mind because, like, I monitor more on, like, just what y'all watching, um, just what's out there. Yeah. Right? And he's little. You know, the older right. they get, the more free. Oh, man. yeah. They super. But, like, yeah, on the porn tip, though, like, I uh, I saw my first porn on, I forgot, but it, it messed me up. Did it? I was like, oh. Was it regular porn? Yeah. But it just messed me up because I was like, do they all, you know, this girl was beat to hell. Yeah. Like her stuff was thrashed. Uh, so, like, when I got older, like, I didn't, I would not go down on anybody mm, for, okay. like, ever. Yeah. Not even because I thought it was girls. I was just like, <laughs> I was scarred. Yeah. I was like, oh, not not those things. Right. Not me. It, it messed me up. I was like, oh. Did you watch a lot of porn? Uh, Not till... You know, college when the internet you download it and mm. all that. Then it looked like a phase, like as everybody else. And right. Then, then I was like, nah, I'm not a big porn guy. Yeah. Nah, I'm like, porn ain't for everybody, man. Like not to be on it. Like like it's people who do it like all day. Yeah. Like well, you know, you be on the road sometimes. You be like, I need a little visual. Real right. Quick for the, <laughs> you know that maybe then. But yeah. Like on just the watching it. Mm. Nah. Sitting there watching it as a whole, like yeah, it's a real yeah, movie. Like we had a, I had a teammate, man. This dude, he got to a point where people stopped letting him use their laptops and computers. Yeah, he'd come in your apartment and be like, "I'm gonna go upstairs real quick," and then you just got virus oh, McGee yeah. on your computer because he's just watching porn for hours. Yeah, and he just watched it and like like a movie. Ah. I'm like, why are you? Wa- what are you doing? I like the camera angles. He would just watch porn like the all the time. So like <laughs> somebody would be like, we'd have to get on for homework and we had to log on the internet and it's pop ups like, we're like, what happened? Yeah. Call us on my computer. Uh, it's like, Come on, <laughs> Good yeah, old porn. It wasn't yeah, it wasn't. I'll be wondering though about the boys, like, what kind of porn are they into? Like, what kind of, <laughs> what what tickles their fancy, if you will? You know what I saying? went through phases. Yeah, I think. We, I yeah, I think you definitely. Like when Kylie got pregnant, mm-hmm. I was looking for pregnant porn. Yeah, this pregnant chicks was hot to me at the time. <laughs> so I was, I was, I was watching pregnant porn. Yeah, it was so. I've weird. Never been into pregnant porn. Oh, I, was, I get it. I was watching. I get it. And I wasn't even like getting turned on. I was just like interested. Yeah. Like, cause I couldn't. You know, I I only can see my uh, you know certain angles from yourself. But right. I was like, what does it look like? Like, right. What is everybody else seeing? <laughs> like, if I somebody walked in on me right now, what angle would they see? Imagine being the kid that was into pregnant porn. <laughs> like, this is you. Like, it's me. I was in there. Like, oh I man, that's weird. I I was into like you know I was in the girl on girl for a long time. Never really got into. That. I was into that for a minute, man. I would I would get I would get the ones with no dude in it at all. Like, <laughs> and then uh, I went back to traditional like. I didn't like the girl on girl because 
I have to imagine myself being in there. Yeah. And I'm like, they don't need me. Right. So I just was like, yeah. I like them not needing me. I, I was, was like, like, I need just you. Just let me watch. Me. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> just let me watch. Just let me on the other couch. <laughs> I was like, they have no interest in me here. And then I uh, switched to the regular traditional. Then I got in the orgy. And I was like, yeah. I, I went to a lot small. going on. Yeah, it's just a lot. It's a lot going on. I always watch the couple it was off funny. to the side. Yeah, it was just funny to me. It was like sometimes, like when I went through all this is in college. Yeah. And when I went through all these phases, and some of them were just funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a lot of stuff was just funny to me. Like yeah. I'd watch it, be like, why are they even doing it like that? Right. And I would just laugh. <laughs> like it was the so, angles. Yeah, just weird position that nobody's really doing, but they're doing it because I get it. The yeah. camera angles, you need My people to be able close to see. Ups. I don't like the close ups. Uh, that, there's but, no point. The balls back I don't and need it. I don't. I know what's happening. Don't. Sometimes they'd be so close, they'd be like. <laughs> They got the camera inside the vagina. The penis is coming in. Like, how are you getting this angle? It was so I don't like. I don't need to be that close. Oh. <laughs> it's like the cameraman's inside. Like. I remember I went through a phase where I was watching bloopers. Uh, oh, bloopers are mad funny, man. I seen this one dude slip in the tub. I ascended to the heavens. <laughs> 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 he was getting in that slip, man. I saw that one. Oh. <laughs> but he tried to finish the work. Don't even try it, dog. He got up. He was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, I could, man. I wish they had more bloopers, man. Oh, I the know they out there. The bloopers are so funny. I see one where the guy, you know, the camera mm-hmm. and the guy shot. Like, but it was from a different angle, right? Yeah. So they showed, and all you hear is cut, 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 cut. <laughs> and he had the camera, and he turned, and it was. <laughs> oh. He just yelled, cut, cut. He had his eye closed. No. And it was just, yeah. I was like, oh, I would have quit my job. Oh, that I would have quit that. I would have quit. I'm like, that this, guy. This is it. There's not, not enough hazard pay for this. I can't. I can't. Oh, so I can't funny. shake that. <laughs> well, anyway, so yeah, yeah, I got to mind. I don't want them watching that kind of stuff. Oh, right, God, I got to monitor this. That two girls, one cup changed. I my never life. watched that. Oh, don't. I never. Wa- I didn't want to watch it. Don't. I never watched it. I remember when all that stuff was getting popular, E Bombs World, and all that stuff. Like I was like, I'm, I'm not. The what was it? Something faces a death where they just it was just people dying. Oh nah, just nah. all the time. I was like, I didn't want to watch that. But I that didn't two wanna... girls, one cup, man. I heard it was fake. Late later on, I heard it was fake, but I, I don't still see didn't how they watch faked it. it. I don't want to watch it. I don't think it's fake. I don't know. The one I saw was, unless they had a budget of $200 million, <laughs> it was real as they could. First of all, I didn't know why everybody watched it. I got they, caught. I didn't know what I was getting into. Well, when the, the name tells you what it is. I figured out what it was by the name. I didn't. I was like, two girls, one cup. What's that? Even? I was like, if it's one cup, they are taking something out of a cup that's coming out of their body. I saw I don't, that. Either the front or the back. And I was like, I don't, I don't need it. I, I sat either. frozen in one spot for like two days. It was like, hey, uh, like <laughs> all the lights went out in the office, and I was still there, like <laughs> reflecting. It I was needed. No. Oh. So yeah, I think it should be monitored because what's out there now? When we had internet, it was a lot of regulations. Yeah. Now everything's just out there. Anything you want to see, you can see it. So we have we have kid restrictions on theirs. Yeah. Like, and I'm gonna keep that on for a while. Yeah. And even when they say like, I remember when on ours, we'd have to have my mom come down. And turn it off so we could research some stuff for homework. Yeah. And then she would turn it back. So I'm like, for homework purposes, right. I'll turn them off. You search what you got to search, and mm-hmm. I'm turning it right back on. It's, it. it's, just, it's just too much out there. Yeah. Until you, when you get older, go look at whatever you want. Right. I don't care. You want to see bloopers? <laughs> go right ahead. Bloopers, Death, man, whatever. Man. But it's just it's so much out there. Crazy, man. Well, that's it, man. Yeah. Daddy issues once again. Don't forget, if you want to see the full episode, go to anywhere you get your podcast, iTunes, Google Play, wherever, see the full episode. If you got any questions for us, which we will answer on the show, ask the questions on the YouTube page in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Spread the word about Daddy's Issues, man. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Tell your peoples, man. Tell your peeps. Tell, spread the word. And uh, Still the number one form of advertisement. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. There's it, nothing Still better. Still the number one. Form. Nothing better. Nothing. Did you watch it? Uh, did you listen to? It's great. Yeah. People uh, still people think it's internet. And it's like, no. Because you still got to tell somebody, hey, have you seen? Exactly. It's still word of mouth. Word of mouth. You got to show king. people. Word of mouth for movies, TV shows, everything. Yeah. Tell uh, your friends. Tony Baker Comedy on all platforms. At Keon Poli on everything, guys. And uh, until next time, we out here. All right.